A Canadian has scooped one of the biggest prizes in science, the UNESCO Award, recognizes women who've made advances in research and an impact on society. David Common met Professor Molly Choiquet at her University of Toronto lab and puts her outstanding work under the microscope. Not to overstate it, but future lives are being saved here. And the woman behind this lab is being named internationally as one of the top women scientists alive. We're really trying to solve big problems in medicine, but using chemistry and engineering to solve those problems. Okay. But Chauquet doesn't invent drugs. She and her team use existing drugs and target them specifically. So I often think of our lab as the FedEx of drug and cell delivery. So we don't put what's in the package, but we make the package and we make sure that what's in the package gets where it needs to be when it needs to be there. Okay. Take breast cancer, for instance. Chemo can be effective, but at a high cost. The challenge is, is they kill everything. They don't just kill the cancers. So we're focused on how can we package them and get them directly to those cancer cells. Their work extends from cancer to blindness, even spinal cord injury. This is uh, just a water swollen material that we invented. And as soon as it comes out of the needle, uh, it forms a gel. And it allows us to localize those drugs. Pretty amazing stuff. And cause for a big scientific prize, $100,000 and recognition from UNESCO and the sponsor, L'Oreal, an award exclusively for women because there are still far fewer women in the sciences than men. Two to one, even after years of progress. So recognizing her success is more than just recognition. I think in terms of uh, providing mentorship, and role modeling for the next generation of young girls that are thinking about science and engineering is just so exciting. One of those beads. Does Already an influencer, she's the only person, man or woman, on all three of Canada's science academies. But on a personal level, she is intimately involved in the work of her students. It's really important to have those sorts of role models to, to show, especially younger girls, that it's possible to have everything. Gender balance is still the goal, but the numbers are growing. Girls good at math and science encouraged to continue, now thriving at university and being recognized for incredible work. David Coleman, CBC News, Toronto.